Hello everyone, and welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister. I finally memorized the name so I don't hesitate when I try and say it. Previously, uh, we kind of dealt with all the business of being the one forced to wear the crown now that we have attuned to it in a manner that we cannot remove. Uh, oh, but it has been identified. Awesome. Uses. One, char one of one charges. Recharge at dawn. Item properties. Plus one to saving throws. Plus two to intimidation and persuasion checks. Plus two to saving throws against transmutation spells. Item functions. Cast revivify one charge. That is quite good as magic items go. So, does this mean just under, excuse me, we want gothic cast spell. Revivify is just going to be somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Use item. Revivify. Awesome. Well, I'm kind of glad that ended up in somebody's hands who could not cast revivify otherwise. So, for now, I think we're just going to kind of continue with general adventure. And we're going to honor our masters by going to the Kerlem Timerian Tower. So let's track that. And to do that, we're going to need to get back on the road. So we're going to need to find our way back around to the main square and the exit thereof. Let's just double check we have plenty of food for the road. Because we are going to need supplies for long rests. You don't seem to have any on your person. How about everyone else? Two here, three there. Can we combine those into a better stack? We can. Uh, heaps over here. So if we've got five, 10, 15, that's at least four days travel. So if we have to rush back, we can rush back. I suppose since the general store is right here, We can pick up a few extra. There you go, there's eight, which is two days travel extra. Still not sure what I could be buying for um, crafting and stuff. I'll probably delve into that a bit more later. There was magnificent armor that we sold. Is it this one? Currently equipped. They can't both be currently equipped. But it's 630 gold for magnificent leather armor. And there was on one of these. Let's conclude that. Maybe it wasn't this store, but somebody had a button to identify magic items that were for sale. So I'm going to guess that this is probably plus one leather armor, which Faith would certainly go for. Uh, no, studded leather armor is 12 plus dex. Plus one leather armor would be 12 plus dex. So that's just the same. So maybe we're not too worried about trying to buy that back for 630 gold right now. But we have a little extra food. Everyone has a health potion. We have an extra revivify if we need it. So we can head on out of this place. I think it's just along this stretch, isn't it? So we'll do the long walk west back to KLM once again. And hopefully we'll have a nice, exciting adventure in a wizard's tower, which sounds like a fun time, if not maybe a slightly deadly time. And the game has added possible gem location to our map. And notably, that is a long way away. How many days travel is this? I don't want to click travel. Let's click Ke Kelem. If I click travel, am I locked into this? No. This is three days normal duration. How far is this? 11 days there and back. So if we're going to do that, we're going to need like way more supplies, basically. So let's start here. We'll start with side quests and then move on to uh, main quests when we feel that we're as strong as we can be for any subsequent thing. 
Are we happy with our spells? Probably don't need Spider Climb for the road, so we'll take Shatter. Thunder Wave is fine. Shield. Probably don't need Feather Fall for the road either. Otherwise, probably pretty happy. And carry on. Oh, we tended to some wounds of some people. Aren't we nice? I think we should get choices for things like um, help versus rob and things that might impact either the reputation of the party or things that we can get. Uh, a scout and a wolf. Easy peasy. Especially when we're at total nuclear... All spells, all slots, everything else. Alright, so it is dusk. We've got some good initiatives there. Faith up first. Let's find our foes. There's two over... Uh, three scouts, one wolf. So there's wolf, scout, scout. Oh, there's two up there. Is there more than... Wolf? Okay, Wolf and Scout, and then two Scouts up top. Right. I follow. Don't know how healthy the Scouts are, but what I do know is that we've got a bow, we've got an arrow. Ah, well done. So they've got about 16, 18 health. I think we can deal with that. Wolf's going to run towards us. Oh no, they're surprised. Excellent. Pastel. Let's go with crossbow. Why not? Very nice. Now, gothic. We shouldn't have a hard time finishing those off. Or at least the one that's injured. Very nice. And I imagine with a ranged attack, we can probably finish this as well. We hit, but did we not do damage? Very confused, but okay. They round out their surprise. Faith can probably finish this. Ah, uh, crit and all. Right, we will get within one tile of kite so that he can defend us. Wolf's going to carry on in. And we're just going to wreck it. Uh, oh, we have to do the movement part first, of course. Very nice. We can just spam magic missiles, that's not a problem. A victory fit for a song. Simple. And I don't think we're going to be in range of that scout, so let's just do a dodge. Let them come to us. And then either we can attack at range here, or if we have to bonus action dash, we can. Are they just obscured by the grass for extra AC? Nope, they had some rock between them and us. Pastel. Very similar story. Let's go for spell casting, see what we can do. Simple stuff. Right. Any supplies? Let's go fetch what we can. And then I guess we're finishing our long rest here since it's 7pm currently. 
retrieve one of our arrows. And that might be everything. All right, back to the campfire. Nice and simple. Yes. Get a good night's sleep. Don't need to do anything here. Although perhaps we should have changed Gothic's spells because that was our last long rest before we actually get into this environment. So perhaps that's why the last long rest is kind of just outside of a location's borders. Good thing to keep in mind. Clear skies, friend. Oh, we cut straight in this time. Clear skies, deputies. Uh, we should go. So because we've been here multiple times, they're not making us do the climb up the hill, this walk. They're just dropping us straight in at the top, which is convenient, and I do not mind. Is this board just things from quests? Yeah. So we are looking for our mate who taught Gothic some things in the past. I don't know if there's any other kind of... Oh, there's the general store out front. Is there a gate open to that now, or do we still have to go way up and round? Which seems grossly inconvenient, but sure. That's where we fled previously inside. So I'm not sure if we're going somewhere particularly different, but we will just follow our compass for now. There he is. Hop up there. Let's just check out this fountain or doorway or whatever it is. I saw it highlighted the last time we passed by but missed it. Uh, did we miss something? Okay. Apparently nothing going on there. Just a strange thing that could be clicked. Fair enough. Let's go talk to our mate up here and we'll go up the most convoluted way. But that's fine. As long as we get to where we're going, that's what matters. Oh, they've put boards up so we don't have to jump and die. It's very considerate. Hello. There you are. Are you ready for this? I am. Any idea how to get up there? One or two. I tried to think of a way, but still, this place is incredible. Did you notice that there was a minor gate just here in the courtyard? Uh, that's what that is. As a matter of fact, I did. Let's get to it, if you don't mind. So that might be one of the teleportation gates that we were told about previously, where we needed a code word to get back to the main city. So, enter the tower. Find a way into the tower and enter with Master Dakin. If you can reach it, you'll be able to drop a rope or others to climb. To get there, however, you might need to fly or something. Okay. Um, do we have rope? I know that would be part of like a general adventurer's kit, but I've not actually had to proactively use any. Or whether it's just kind of going to be assumed for the quest that we have some. But hey, we'll figure that out when we get there, I guess. Where is the tower? Up here. And we cannot fly. At least, not yet, we can't. We don't have the fly spell. What we do have... Or what we, what we did have... Was... A spider climb. But failing that... Perhaps we can misty step up here somewhere. Can we zoom out, please? We'll zoom up. Cast spell misty step. Did 
So we can Misty Step directly upwards, which seems like we're just going to induce full damage on ourselves. This is very peculiar. Let's get as close as we can here. I'm going to guess that it might be a location we can't see. Come on, you can do it, game. Alright, that's clearly not working. So we don't have fly. We do have spider climb. But it does not appear that this is a straight shot spider climbing kind of situation. Also, we don't currently have it prepared. Um, is there some other method for this? We can't shoot an arrow with a grappling rope or something attached to it, I presume. That's not a thing that we have yet encountered in a store or such environment. Uh, I, what I don't want to do is spend four more days traveling away from here to then have to come back. Faith, you can also misty step. Can you get us out of here? No? I thought Misty Step would have been a good candidate for creative thinking on how to get up. As a bonus action, teleport to a cell you can see within five cells. So how many cells up is this? I guess more than five. Alright, well... Lacking any other way to get up... I guess this is a bust, which is a great shame, until we get to level 5, which is a much higher level than we are now, at 4 and a 6th or so. We've got a lot of adventuring in us yet before we get to level 5 and learn fly. We don't have, obviously, any magic items. I'm going to go check the general store inside real quick. Anything we might use here. So we've got regular potions, regular arrows, clubs, quarter staffs, and the like. Armor we can't afford or need. Darts and spell books, pelts. All right. Apparently, nothing here. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? How convenient a scroll of fly. So if we buy that, and it's going to cost us almost all of our money, but one presumes that adventure will fund further adventure. So if we buy that, close out of here. Very convenient game, very convenient. Let's get the party back over here. And then we'll have Gothic try and fly up. Hopefully he doesn't fail to cast the spell because it's one level higher than his current spell scrolls. If this was 5th edition, it would need a check. So let's see if that's going to work. We need to get the item out of Kite's inventory first. And give it to Gothic. Now, the real temptation here, we have two scrolls of fly. Apparently, I just had one anyway, which is great because it means that later on we can scribe one into our spell book, probably. It's too high for us to scribe, but we can attempt to cast. So let's do that. Select a target. We will be our own target, I guess, 
Or do we send Faith up because she's very dexterous? She might, if we have to tie a rope off, it might be a check. Okay, we did not need a check. Now, Faith, how do we move in 3D space is my next question. Toggle the horizon plane on and off. Shortcut left shift is not doing anything. Nine more minutes. How do I fly up, please? Do I just have to go up more? It's a little awkward, but... What does the game want from me? I guess this is why 3D space isn't implemented all too often. Okay, we got there. And we have lowered a rope. Right, we still have, like, several minutes worth of fly left. Before we round out this episode, if we can fly over here real fast... Which we should be able to, considering we can fly. Can you land here, please, so that I can use the teleporter? Oh, we have to have a whole party here. Because we can't split the party in geometry. Oh my god. Game. Right. I would like everybody in this blue box... Then Faith with seven minutes of flight left. What do you mean, no path to destination? You are capable of crawling. Just because you are flying doesn't mean you have to be. New waypoint discovered mushroom cave? What? Alright, this is adorable, but I would like to be on the ground, please. And I would like to crawl under here. Well, this is a very annoying development. Because there's like a thing around here, not that one. Somewhere around here, there is a treasure over a gap that I couldn't get previously because I couldn't make it over a gap or something. But maybe that's not this part of this cave or somewhere else. But hey, that's going to have to do it for right now. Let's get the whole party. Let's get up that rope. And we'll see what happens next time. Come on, then. Everyone up the rope. I assume there's like a window behind... ...here. Or we'll just get on the blue and it'll teleport us. Yes. We can proceed. 
All right, awkward flying aside, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or pressing that like button. It does mean a lot to me. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please feel free to put them down in the question uh, in the comments down below. I try and read each and every one of them. Let's just see if there's a quick cutscene here. Fantastic! It looks like, well, another world. You must have seen so much. I have, but this is still... Fascinating. Well, I see where you got your passion for learning. Let's look around. Gather all the antiques we can. All right, so we'll do that next time and probably run into some danger along the way. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.